and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Killstar haul. Now I ordered this on Tuesday last week which was the 20th of November and it arrived yesterday which was the 26th. So it took six days to come which I feel is quite good. Um, it did get a bit delayed because one of the items I did order they emailed me after saying that there was an error on their website or something so they didn't actually have that item in stock so they asked me whether I wanted to exchange it for a different item or to refund it and I asked for a refund um, just because there was nothing else I really wanted that was like a similar price so I got that through quite quickly and now here it is so it always comes in the same bag I have opened it just to um, make sure everything fit in case I had to take it back or anything and it was shipped um, I tracked like 48 hours so it usually would get here quicker but it was because of the the item that they didn't have in stock so the bag is normal is has this really cool print on it and it just says Killstar at the back so I decided to get some stuff from Killstar because they had their Black Friday deal and usually throughout the year they have like 20% off, 15% off, 25% off but I always find that the Black Friday sale which is 30% off they have the best deal and I'm not sure if they do it every year or every like two years because I thought last year they didn't do a 30% off at all it was like buy one get one free or something I figured that that was the most amount of money I was going to get off them so I decided to place an order just go through what they put inside the, the bag so like last time they give you this Killstar envelope with moon phases on it I also find that now they don't give you a receipt like they used to give you an A4 like page that would say your order on but instead they now just give you like a sticker. Let's see if I can show you without my dress. So you just get this sticker inside it. That I think you just stick to the bag if you want to return anything. And then this is like the new card they put in. I got two items. Um, one's a top and one's a dress. Um, I'll go for the top first. As normal, they come in these like clear bags that just say Killstar on. So this is the top. I will be including like try-ons at the end, but yeah. So this is the top. I used to, a few years ago, I always wore Victorian fashion, so like corsets and like tops like this with these kind of sleeves and things and then because I was at school and things it was a bit impractical so I kind of went for more casual fashion so but when I saw this it just reminded me of like Christmas and like festive and I don't know if it was like this design on it it is very Victorian so it's a normal length top and then as I mentioned the sleeves are really long I think it's, is it bell sleeves or something is that what they're called they like flare out at the end I didn't actually know that this was a feature on them I thought they were a bit wider at the end but not like that much it does look really nice when it's on and then on the shoulders there's this like ruffled detail which I really really liked it has a high neck and as you can see it's kind of like a ribbed material which makes it fitted, which makes it a nice shape. Um, it is called the Antonia Long Sleeve Top. That's what the name of it on Killstar is. And I haven't actually had these tags before. So it's like skeleton hands holding a moon with some crystals. So I like that they changed the tags as well. And the main feature on this, like the rest is plain apart from this bit is this really nice kind of cameo design on the chest and it's kind of like embroidered this bit is kind of sheer so like when it's on you can see like through it but it's not too low that you'd be like revealing anything so that's always good but yeah i really like this piece um i think it was 
30 pounds to begin with because this is part of their new range they they've released so many new collections i can't keep up so yeah i went for this one because i kind of wanted to get back into victorian fashion a bit more and i thought that this is quite simple but victorian at the same time and you could easily wear that with like either trousers or leggings or skirts or whatever this was 30 pounds and it had 30 percent off so i think it was like around 21 or something like that so yeah that's that one And the next item was one of the ones where I saw it and I was like <gasps> so this is the I'll find the name of it Regan pinafore dress in uh, the black version because they also had like a purple tartan which looked really nice as well so this is what the dress looks like So it has a lot of detail on it. I mean, it's it's fairly plain at the bottom, but on the top there is a lot of detail. Also, I got the top in a size small and I got this in a size small as well. And I feel like the sizing is a bit better than what I've had previously. So I'm not sure if they've done anything with that. As normal, the tag was the same as the other one. And that's just got the name of it. So where to begin with this one? It's made of quite a thick material, if that shows up, yeah, I'm not sure what material this is, but it is quite comfortable. The straps on it are like a fake leather, and then they've got like silver details like connecting them to the dress. Now one thing I will say with this is when I tried it on it fit perfectly, but the straps are a bit, they like fit, but they kept falling off my shoulder, which is a bit annoying. So. I mean, I guess if you wore, like, a jumper underneath, then, you know, it, it wouldn't. But the models with this were wearing, like, fishnet tops or, like, long sleeve tops. So that was kind of the thing I wanted to do with it. Especially, like, a striped top, because I thought that would look good. As you can see, this doesn't have, like, an adjustable thing like normal dresses would have. But it does have this on the back of it. Now, this opens up... And then you can adjust it there, which kind of makes the straps longer. Or you can pull it down and then adjust it like that. So you can adjust it, but you don't have many options. It's not like the sliding one where you can like fit it exactly. I do kind of like this design, maybe more than the slidey one, because then you've got like things on your shoulders. But I feel like more options of this would have been better. Um, it's got a zip down the front. And this does actually function. But it's quite, it's not going to like fall down or anything. And then it's got an o-ring for the zip. Which was a detail that I really liked as well. Um, on the back it has a large zip going down the back. And then the skirt's kind of like a skater style. It's got pleats kind of in it. So it does have a nice effect. I will say that it kind of sticks out a bit awkwardly at first, just because of the way it's been folded. But I think once you wear it more and maybe you put it through the wash, then it will kind of calm down. It's got these belt loops on it, which are the same material as the straps, like this fake leather effect. And on the model, they did actually have like a studded belt that went through this but I found out that that wasn't included in it I did know before I ordered it but you might think just like if you just bought it and didn't pay much attention that you might get the belt with it but you don't you have to pay like another 10 pounds for that but I wasn't too fussed on the belt with the tag attached to it it had this bag containing the like the o-rings and chains so this you do get with it and it kind of like does that like around the skirt when I got it out I was a bit confused because I expected it to have like 
a clasp or something on it but it's just kind of this really long thick heavy chain and then it's got these o-rings on it and there's four of those yeah four it does feel like a really nice quality though it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything and the o-rings feel like solid i thought it would just come attached to it um but i do like that you can unattach it as well because some people might love the dress but they might not like this so that's always good i figured out with these this bit like opens so what you do is on the dress there's like the belt loop here and then there's a really small loop down here and i'm not sure how well this is gonna go but what you do is you like hook that through there so that kind of pulls down on that and then you take the next one and then you link it to here and it kind of has this effect like all around the skirt so yeah it did take me not like too long but a little while to figure it out but i do like that it's detachable also you wouldn't be able to put it in the wash if it wasn't so i feel like this is a dress that you could easily wear throughout any season i mean it's not too thick but it's not too thin either it might be a bit too thick if you've got like 30 degrees summer but you could easily wear this in like 20 degrees maybe with like a short sleeve t-shirt underneath or you could pair it with a jumper um so you could easily layer it up the third item i got that i didn't get um was the fishnet top that goes underneath this i did kind of want that to kind of finish this off but at the same time we are going into winter now and i don't think i'd be wearing a fishnet top anyway and it is kind of one of the more less expensive items that i could pick up at any time during the year but this dress cost originally 50 pounds which i would i'd say i'd never spend on a dress i know that kills do sales so i'm less tempted to like buy things full price um, so with the 30% off, this came to £35, which I thought was a really reasonable price considering the quality. with the pieces that I got um, another good thing with Killstar is they have a point system so I'm nearing I think I've got to 5% off but I'm nearing like the £5 off so that's always good so that's everything I got from Killstar let me know what your favourite item was and if you picked up anything at the Killstar Black Friday sale give this video a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one bye